take individuals, form a collective, develop a collective vision, and work as a collective around what we see together. The mural is uh, always done with a diverse group of students, uh, but that diversity is limited to diverse Latinos from various parts of Latin America or diverse in that it's blacks and Latinos or whites and blacks. But this distinguishes itself because it's pretty much a diverse at a global level. And that level, it, it is a historic mural, not just for me, but I think it's a historic mural for uh, around the country where groups continue to talk about the diversity and inclusion, but then they segregate themselves into very similar groupings. So that is very different and um, it's quite an honor for me to work on it. To start off, Hersey is not a very diverse place. I think the majority is like um, white or Caucasian people. And you know, America is like, we have a lot of different cultures mixed in America. And that's not gonna ever change. It's just gonna get more mixed or, and more diverse. So I think it's important for Hersey kids especially to like be surrounded and aware of like our different backgrounds just so that we can learn and be prepared for the world. And also it's like, um, it's good to like know about different people. Like it makes you more open-minded and more like um, keen on learning new things. So I think it's important for all of us to do that. I think because, well, one, we are uneducated on these certain topics and it's important to know that there are different people, you know, out there other than you who came from different backgrounds and from different experiences. I think it's important to learn, you can learn from them as well for the future. I think it gives everyone a little exposure to everybody's different experience and it kind of just shows them different walks of life so that people, you know, understand one another and it kind of, I think it also helps with like cohesiveness of different people helping them get along and like that teamwork kind of aspect. One, the, the activities help create a bonding around laughter and games and challenges with the students. It's going to be very hard to be mad at someone or go at them in a hostile manner after you just danced and clowned around. So on that, is uh, that, that, that's one of the objectives for the activity. The second objective is that they actually are teachable moments about things that we are going to experience while we're painting the mural. We have to act in a coordinated fashion. We have to act collectively. There's, it shows how much more power there is in the group than in individuals. So that's also another objective of it. I'm not an artist, so I didn't want, I was like, Oh, it's a mural. Maybe I'm not the person who should do this. So I asked um, the co-president who like is in like AP art or something, um, like, hey, you should go do this. And they're like, nope, not doing it. So they're like, okay, I'll do it. And then I showed up and it seemed really interesting. So I just kept going. I'm really enjoying just going with the flow and like how we all get to contribute our ideas to it. Like, I love community projects because everyone gets a say in what we get to do and every day something changes and I just enjoy seeing like the process building up all together. So we traveled the path from individual leaders uh, and it was long and winding and there were forks in the road and there were some moments that some of us could have been lost along the way, but we made it. And just when we make it, well, the path ends and now you have to form a new path as a collective because you can't go back to what you were. You can't go back to just being an Asian club. You can't go back to just being a Latinx club. You can't go back to being 
in the park or just, okay, now you are a collective of student leaders that's very diversified, but you went through the same experience. So what path will we take? And some of the leadership will go, you know, the seniors will move on. So did we leave enough nourishment for those that are gonna continue making a new path? Here, that's, that's, that's the real question. Uh, did we pack enough lunch for the, the leaders that have to continue on without us?